Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Vanil, and in this React Native video, we will see that how we can install the React navigation with the React Native. So these are the points of this this video. So the purpose of this video is not showing that how we can code for the React navigation, but in this video we will see that how we can install the React navigation. In the next video, we will just start the code from the very scratch. So for uh, testing the code I will just copy and the paste the code for that so in, in this video we are not going to understand the code so first of all we will see that what is the navigation types of navigation we have to install the package and dependency we have to just run some more commands some when we just get the uh, bug or installation errors then we have to make the build copy paste code and try it with the code uh, try it with the uh, or you can see that the navigation so first question is that what is the navigation so like the web browser sometimes we have to move from one screen to another screen because all application cannot cover within a single screen like uh, just log in from a one screen and go for the next screen profile screen and all these are the part of navigation you can see that the types of navigation basically there's a three kind of validation one is the stack navigation which is usually most widely then draw navigation and then the tab navigation all right so we will see this navigation in the upcoming video with the very scratch in the code so now let's see that uh, what package and dependency we have to install so for that i am just going to start with the uh, browser and let's write here react navigation and when you just write here then you just have to click on the first link and be careful that you don't need to go for the react native navigation because the react navigation is the official package which is the recommended by the facebook also so now let's go for the documentation here and in the first line you will see that getting started and here we have the all steps that we have to use for installation all right so first of all i am just going to just coming on the uh, installed into the existing project project so already we have an application so first command is that just run this uh, npm install react navigation right so here you can even type also npm i react navigation right and after this uh, it will just take some moments and within this moment so let's go for the next commands that we have to run so these are the more commands because uh, react native navigation have some dependencies and for the resolve the dependencies we have to install some package also so these are the package so you can just see that the package name is like uh, react native uh, gesture handler reanimation screens and safe area context so th this is the complete installation in the one line so i'm just going to copy it and for that i'm just going to click it here and let's paste it paste it directly all right so within that time they are just installing let's move on the another side so now there's a two thing if you have the higher version from react 0 0.16 then you have to use this kind of things otherwise you have to run the below commands so in my project i have the uh, re react 0 0.61 61 so this is a higher than the uh, available package so we have to run these commands so we have to uh, for the android we have to go in the android folder app and build.gradle all right so uh, let's make the screen large here and just click on the uh, android then click on the app and then click on the build.gradle right so sometime you will see that the packages are already installed here all right so uh, you will see that the dependencies are automatically uh, plotted by the react native if these are not plotted here you can see that the android x app compact and the app compact version are like this all right so if these are not plotted then you have to add them otherwise sometime when just install it react native already put them here all right so even you can just click on the copy from here and you can just simply replace if you just want to replace it right so it's actually depend on your machine configuration sometimes react native already just uh, add this dependency sometimes you just have to buy manual all right so after that you just uh, if you have the lower version then you just have to run these commands and 
uh, you just have to do some uh, kind of stuff like this right so after that what actually you have to do you have to go for the uh, app main activity dot uh, js file uh, dot java file right so let's open it here and you just have to add the some dependencies so first of all just as the react activity delegate so just add this package on the front then let's uh, move for the next command there is two more uh, import files so you can just add them directly and after that you have to override some functions also which is just given here so let's copy this directly and let's paste it here All right so just remove the plus sign because these are not required okay so after doing this they are just recommend that uh, at the last we have to import this uh, gesture on the index.js or the app.js it's totally up to you if you just want to add it or not all right so i'm just going to click on the index.js file and i'm simply adding it all right so all dependencies are installed here you can see that so now what actually you have to do you first of all you just have to run this command which is react native link react native uh, safe area context because sometimes they just give you the error which is the uh, mask view is uh, present but this actually not resolved for that you have to run this command all right so it's better that you can just already uh, run before making the build because it will just save your time so this is already installed in my application so this is everything is done now actually i need to make a build so for that just write here react native run android right and just hit the enter and uh, this maybe just take some time around uh, four to five minutes actually so it depends on the your internet speed also because it will just download the dependency in your android application right so i am just waiting for it uh, to speed up the video time so i am just going to pause it so that we can just save the time now you can see that the build is done here so what actually we can do uh, are we ready for command for code the code yes but uh, for start with the first kind of navigation with the react navigation we have to install the react navigation stack package also all right so just install this package also for that just write here npm i react net navigation stack and just hit the enter all right so after that let's uh, just jump on the code directly so what actually you have to do so i already told you that we will just copy and paste the code in this video so that we can just test it in the next video we will actually write the code so in the app.js just line the two line here and after that i am just going to make a small component also so like home is already there so just use this line all right and uh, just use the last line here also so don't don't worry about this code in the next video we will understand it very properly and very very carefully all right so everything is fine with the code also so now what actually we have to do we have to just run the react native start mm -mm. and whenever we just run this code uh, it will just provide a little bit header here if the header is present that means you are react native actually working if there is some error then we will resolve it so uh, this is a complete white screen so we can just close the application and we will re rerun it because sometimes it will just show the uh, white screen in the start case so that you can just rerun or close the application and restart it all right so now you can see that uh, we just go to the home a title here that means this is a home screen and everything is similar and fine here 
so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel because in the next next video we will understand this code properly and we will click on the button and we will go on the next screen also goodbye take care